The first doses of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine are on the road. The shipments going out of Olive Branch, Mississippi, beginning this morning. Shipments are expected to reach health care providers as soon as tomorrow. Over 270,000 people have received the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. As of last night, the FDA is reporting just six serious allergic reactions. The CDC is also reporting allergic reactions, but those cases were not considered serious. Now, one of the more severe cases, the CDC says the person may have had a history of reactions to vaccines. None of the other cases had any known reactions to vaccines, medications or food. And this week, Moderna's vaccine will arrive across the the nation as we saw those shipments being sent out now. Mara Soriani is live in Midtown with plans for delivery to Georgia and the differences between those two vaccines. Good morning, Mara. Latasha, good morning. As we know, last week, many metro area hospitals didn't really receive as many doses of Pfizer's vaccine as they requested. That is simply because at the beginning of stages here, uh, supplies are going to be low. But the good news is more help is on the way in the form of that Moderna vaccine. So last week, Governor Kemp said Georgia is expected to receive more than 170,000 doses of Moderna's vaccine this week, in addition to another 60,000 doses of Pfizer's vaccine. Now, the same authorization was granted to both and data shows they are between 94 and 95 percent effective. Both require two doses. Neither is a live virus vaccine. Now, one of the main differences is storage. Experts think more Pfizer vaccines will be sent to bigger hospitals with capacity for those deep freezers and Moderna's will likely go to clinics or smaller hospitals that don't have the freezers. And so the answer to the question of which one you should take is really whichever one you're offered to, to get first. Now, remember, the state has a 62 page distribution plan. If you remember last time this week, we weren't exactly sure where the first doses of the Pfizer vaccine would be delivered across the state. Well, that's kind of the same uh, spot that we're at now with the Moderna vaccine. But again, we do know that those shipments are expected in Georgia this week. Thank you, Mara. The vaccine rollout comes as hospitalizations and cases continue to rise in Georgia. More than 4,200 new cases were reported yesterday. Now that's a dip from Friday when we hit a record high for the most cases in a single day at nearly 6,100, but is significantly higher than what we saw just one month ago. Deaths also steadily rising in Georgia. The state reported 39 more deaths yesterday, bringing the total to over 9,400.